Hello, welcome back. We are continuing Champions of Crin. Okay, again adventuring. Swaggering mercenaries. Indian. Come on, guys. Get over yourselves. There's no need to get violent into the inn. Okay, so... You are spotted by a Minotaur patrol. What do you do? We'll talk to him. What do you do? We'll be sly. <laughs> Fine. I mean, they can't really do much besides <laughs> slow us down. Really wish you hadn't just left that one on two. Come on, guys. Guess tonight's Emmy's night, huh? Emmy has not actually missed yet. Well, now it go gets fun. But like I said, they can't attack us more than two at a time. So the odds are always in our favor with this. Because we can always bring everyone to bear on one of them. So, tactically, this fight's ours. The dice could be the dice. Just say, screw you. I don't think they're going to do that this time. So, yeah. Of course she does one damage. Well, what do they got? Chainmail and battle axes. See the woman whom you rescued appear before you. She explains that Lorana sent her to investigate the rise of evil in Sanction. You record her remarks as journal entry 88. Just before the Temple of Durgast was closed, dead bodies were seen being carried into the arena in the temple's northwest corner. There were hundreds of them. It has been discovered that the Death Knight, Sir Labam, has taken over the temple and has gathered together the exhumed dead for miles around. There is no way that you can get into the temple through the front gates. You must get the Shadow People's support. They have tunnels that cross from the Temple of Herzund to the Temple of Durgast. 
She pulls out an amulet. This amulet will let you through a secret door. The shadow people will find you once you enter Herzod. She hands you the amulet and says the secret entrance is in the first building to the south of the of warehouse where you found me. It's in the southeast corner of the back room. Okay. The secret entrance is in the first building to the south of the warehouse. Okay. I found this. It may be significant for you. She hands you a paper that you record as journal entry 19. The Dragon Lance was a stroke of genius. With one small theft, we distracted them from the main threat and forced their attentions on the recovery of the weapon. This became stage two since it fit so neatly with our plans. It allowed us to delay the original kidnapping of Sir Carl just long enough to gather many more bodies for Sir Labom to work with. She disappears again. Okay. Well, we can go fix ourselves. Or we can go... The amulet glows, revealing the secret entrance. Do you wish to go through it? Yes. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, I see what they do. A creaking, swinging wall opens into the dank, oppressive quiet of the Temple of Herzend. Okay. The temple is a crumbling ruin. Dust swirls up at your passing. There are draconian footprints in the deep dust. They look fairly recent. You encounter a patrol. That didn't take long. <laughs> Let's see. Because that looks like a Bozak. It's fortunately the only one there is. Oh, Civex. Lots of Civex. Well. See if we can take one out from the back row. You ain't got a lot left. Good job. Wow. Those guys are really laying into him. I mean, they were really after him. Wow. <laughs> All right, that one has a <laughs> cursed 20 sided eye, I would say. Nope. Wow, yeah, they. Really, really laid into Tall Gimli there. Okay. This room is filled with the dusty remains of several large volumes. 
If you touch any of them, they instantly crumble to dust. Alright, what do we got? We'll take those. Okay. Well, that, that helped us out. <laughs> you hear a soft rustle of movement. You encounter a patrol. Bats? shouldn't say anything because mobats are like plot armor. It's got an AC of 2. Minus 50. Okay, so Buzz, let's try and kill those. Like I said, mobat. Of course he did. Of course he did. I mean, even if these things have a 19 or even 18 that go, they could, but that's still a required 20 on any of my front line. Just had to leave it at one, didn't you? Yeah, it's amazing how many patrols we've run into. There are many statues lined up against the northern end of the room. You see a strange figure in the mist ahead. You get a strong feeling that he wants you to meet him in the east. You hear a soft rustle of movement. The inscription on this statue reads, Paladine. That went by quick. Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, the inscription on this statue reads Mishako. The inscription on this statue reads Habab Ha Hab Bakuk Habakuk. Okay. The inscription on this statue reads Brashala. You hear a soft rustle of movement.
you are attacked by draconians. Two of them. Please, uh, let me guess. Yes, he's dead last. Of course he's dead last. I hope it gets through. Small favor. Again, hoping it gets through. Stop leaving him with two hit points, guys. And stop missing. That's the most important thing. Stop missing. Find some papers and record them as journal entry 37. Stage 3 is about to begin. The good armies are marching on sanction, and our friendly adventurers are still trying to figure out how to get the Dragonlands. Sir Labom has been working in the area of Durgast. He will begin to raise his army of undead as soon as the good armies are in position. We anticipate that this will take another day or two. I have blue dragons stationed at Durgas to guard the eggs, and red dragons are waiting to give me word when he has finished his preparations. When I hear from him, the final stage will begin. From out of the depths of the room, a strange figure appears. The amulet glows a soft brown. Without any apparent sound, you hear the strange figure reveal itself as a shadow person. It says that you can now go through the secret door that is located at the northeast, northern end of the hallway. This leads into a large room. The entrance to the caverns is in the upper left corner of the west wall of that room. Follow the corridor from there until you find a door. The conclave will then meet with you. The shadow person silently leaves with a soft rustle. Okay. Well, before we do that, how many patrols are there? Ah, 
and then, well, at least the Bozaks are right in front. But you guys literally have to stop missing. Ooh. And I mean, stop missing. Well, crap. You see the glint of something shiny in the far reaches of the room. It's only Buzz and Civex. Stop failing to hit on every single roll. Well, he didn't lose his weapon. So, small, small victories. Okay. Now, the fact that you're missing twice around is kind of pathetic. Emmy her level. So she is a 7th level fighter. 1.5 attacks around. Yay! Taco of 14. Oh, she's a level 8 thief too. Okay. Now we go a small door is now revealed by the glow of the amulet. You can see a door illuminated by the light of the amulet. It looks like a, sp 
spectral entryway to the west. Okay. Mobots swoop down in ravenous fury. Right, view, your Thacko is nine. Okay, so you literally need to roll a six or less to miss. And he does it. I mean, she at least needs a nine or better. It's almost a 50-50. Yep, uh, seven or better hits. And with him, it's a nine or better. But it's just something about these Mobats, I swear. They have some weird... <sighs> mischance that's just not part of their armor class. Because we miss an awful lot for creatures that have their armor class. And it's entirely true that they do have some kind of blur or something of that nature. Of course. Uh, okay. That's understandable and I accept that. Come across a conclave of shadow people. They have been awaiting they have been waiting patiently for your arrival. Again, images and words form in your mind. You are told to go down a long cavernous passage. The entrance is through the door to the south. The passage is free of any evil creatures. However, there are many bold bats that also live in these caves. You will have to deal with them yourselves. You will come upon a door to your right. You may rest there. Eventually, you will meet the ancient revered one. He will give you further information. The shadow people fade away. Oh, joy. Mobats. I said it's just this weird ability that they just seem to be untargetable. Or unhittable, I mean. But they sure land hit after hit after hit.
So we'll, we'll have our ranged in Gimli focus on the northern one, while everyone else goes after the southern one. Of course one damage. Oh good, no. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. believe they missed I mean they need a 19 or 20 but that seems to be the only thing they have on their die Ooh, look it's a 19 wow I wish my dice rolled 19s as often as yours did From behind, still misses. just saved uh, for good luck save okay word one character status okay oh there it is Word one, character status, page four. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> fact that that's the word it wants. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right. So, uh, let, let's go deal with Momats again. Because, you know, they're not broken with the fact. A very strong presence fills this room. There's nothing else in here that you can see. Your mind becomes filled with images again. The way to the Dragonlance is imprinted on your mind. It seems to lie in the south-central area of the dungeons to the west of here. You record the information as Journal Entry 63. Okay, yeah, I see it. Oh. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. It's weird.
the presence becomes extremely agitated and angry. A new, more ominous image forms in your mind. It's hard to say if that's a helmet or his brain. Disturbing either way. A death knight is directing his minions in placing hundreds of bodies in the arena of Durgast. The images fade to nothingness as the death knight seems to turn towards you. The chamber present... Doesn't give you a chance to read it. Treasure, 2000 experience. Right, what do we got? We got a ring, a bastard sword, and a long sword. Um, a shadow person directs you to the door to the south. the dungeons of Durgast. The walls are covered with mold and insects. Pleasant. Monsters? <laughs> of course monsters attack. Oh my gosh. Two of them. trying to explode that guy, but we gotta kill him. And it's far better to get rid of the Draconians than the Minotaurs. Yeah, the Minotaurs are tough. Not as bad as the stinking draconians. Oh, good. Good job, buddy. Great job. Make sure your buddy has no way to get past you. And we will start peppering him with arrows and stones and everything in between. To make sure he's nice and softened up before he gets through you. wish they'd soften him up a little better. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so... Okay, he is a level 7 fighter. Because now we get the attacks. Jeez. 
Shapeless pile of clothing shudders at your approach. An incredibly dirty man huddles within. He stares at the door. Hair etches his features. As he fades into senselessness, you hear him whisper, La Bomb. Okay. Well, here we go. This room used to be belong to the jailer. As you enter, you see a figure slip through the door to the south. This room is filled with instruments of torture. Draconians and humans are making small cuts on a poor wretch laid out on a rack. What do you do? We have to do this. And of course, the wizard goes... Oh! Much earlier than... My other one's expended. Okay. the important one and didn't work oh well come on good job that's gonna be a very effective one except for the fact that it did almost no damage out one don't mind letting them surrender, but Draconians don't like to surrender. And these ones seem to have nothing on their dice but 19 and 20s. Victim sobs in gratitude for his release.
room is filled with instruments of torture. A shadow person stands in the corner. He seems extremely frightened. Frenetic, disjointed images bombard your mind. Finally, one image comes in strong. Skyla, the so-called escort from Jellic, is going into a room and preparing his soldiers for battle. The shadow person warns you that your presence is probably known. He tells you that the room beyond the one that Skyla is in contains magical weapons and armor. Okay. Okay, let's let's keep moving here. Oh my gosh. Well, Let's try turn. Okay. Okay, you need to stop losing your weapons on round one of combat when we've got really nasty things in the back. Okay, he definitely did what he needed to do. Now the rest of you need to start doing what you are supposed to do. Mainly killing things. And yeah, let's see if you can do some damage to that one. Oh, might help if I gave him a weapon, huh? Stop missing. Thank you. I mean, they don't have that good of armor class. They really don't have that good of armor class. Band of fighters approaches. One of them is saying, Why did Skyla send us down here? Ain't nothing back here but that old prisoner, and he's almost dead. They see you and stop. You hear a whispered, 
That's why, idiot. What do you do? What does he got? Oh. That's going to make this a good fight in our favor. Got a lot of health. Even an AC-1 is not that impressive of an armor class. Apparently Tall Gimli got the memo. You're a good fighter. Hit things. Oh. Not my smartest move. Thank you. No. <laughs> Take a plate and shields. to go pick up this is a richly furnished room as you examine it you realize that it reminds you of some of the fragmented images that the shadow people gave you Draconians are guarding the dragon lens. They immediately attack. Okay, well, that just prevented the other from casting a spell. <sighs> Don't miss. Still prevents another one from being able to cast. As annoying as it is. Kill him. Good job. 
kill him. Okay, way too much acid. Aha! Oh, that's why we've been finding all the fights. Let's start peppering the Civac with. Ranged attacks, because... Weakening those is a good thing. The fact that it's getting two attacks makes it worth it to try and take it out quickly. But it's not going to go quickly because 10 is apparently really high on these guys' dice. it was impossible for you to fail to kill it. Two hit points. Can you do one damage? Ooh, did seven. Take chainmail and battle axes. No. Aye. There are stairs leading up in the south wall. Down in the north wall, he made it into the. It is not unknown to the president inhabitants. <laughs> wow, just Civex. I'm a lot less worried about Civex. <sighs> Aside from our broken dice that just will not roll above a five.
because we have to be rolling incredibly low to get this many continuous misses. And these guys are rolling extremely high. I mean, a minus two AC is not something to sneeze at. Even at our levels, it's not bad. But they hit a lot. Ugh. Okay. Okay, 10 and 12 are probably important. Okay. All right, so interestingly enough, it's not gonna be fun where I have to go, but we're gonna head there. You heard the distant sound of trumpets. The good armies have arrived at Sanction. Good job, guys. You hear metallic scrapes and muffled curses coming from the door on the east wall. Alright, so we got a fun battle here, but it's worth it. A familiar face looms up before you. You are surrounded by men pulling on armor and getting ready for battle. Skyla grins with evil delight. So, he sneers, we meet again. Thank you for delivering the information that will lead your armies into our trap. Oh, you didn't know that? Too bad. Even now, Sir Lebalm is creating the undead army that will fall upon your forces. And now, I'm afraid that your usefulness is at an end. Goodbye. should hit right where I want. Well. How did I miss him? Don't know. Not gonna happen again. Don't you dare miss. Good job. Uh, it's 
gonna be harder now. That should hit who I want it to. It did. Oh, dude, you only have a 4 AC? Can't hit him, huh? You, my friend, are at the end of your rope. are brave I'll give you that probably not smart but brave <laughs> I guess they really weren't as brave as I was thinking protect Think. next Wow, nothing. You'll find Skyla's orders and record them as journal entry 61. I want you to find the adventurers and put them out of our misery. They have served their purpose. Now I'm afraid they may find some way to get word to the good armies. Eliminate that threat. Yay! Uncle Boromir got a level. Oh. This room contains weapons and armor. This looks like a good place to rest. I'm sure it does. Magic. Uh... Memorize. Yes. Oh. Okay. So, oh, escape. Fix. Give Uncle Boromir his knight level. Level 7. 12 hit points. 14 Thacka. 1.5 attacks. Yay! The important thing is the attacks. Nope. Alright. So. Now... Now we can actually, you find a package of graves and tobacco. It looks wrapped with an official looking document. The document orders all eggs to be taken to the Southwestern outbuilding for processing. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, yes, we do, actually. Oh. Uh, 
Yes, we do. She's got it. Uh, what does Sarah have? Nothing. Okay. That's probably a good one. Minus four? Okay, let's let's trade that here. Oops. Okay, what's her that go now? Nine. <laughs> Yep. Okay, she she's going into battle with the Dragonlands from here on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, no. Oh, not enough money. Okay, pull. Take, what do we got? Take six jewelry. We will appraise that jewelry. Okay. Um, sell jewelry. Sell jewelry. Sell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you always find that one that's. can sell that, because I'm not going to use it. Okay, he can keep it. Okay. I'd hold on to that, but that's...
Okay, he's got two weapons. Oh, let's give him a third. Oh, I've got a shield plus two. No, because I need to keep something for him. Yeah. Oh, she needs a shield. No, she doesn't. Ah, uh, yes, she does. Got a mace plus. Okay, trade that up to Gimli. Uh, keep the dagger because you might need it. But she's got everything else. Let me guess. Yep. It's not going to work for anyone else, is it? Because he's got... He's got one. Got a white scroll one. Can he ready those? Nope, he can't even ready them. So I guess we'll have to sell them. She's overburdened. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um. Okay, so we've got a lot. Jeez. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Ah, it's going to be really useful. I mean, I'll admit. And, and it's only a plus one. Okay. Yes. So that's where we're going to call it for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Th this is... I really enjoyed the story that Dragonlance does. Um, so, again, like, subscribe. 
if you want to do the mustache naming contest, there's links to follow in our Twitter. Uh, like, subscribe, share on YouTube, and we'll see you Friday for Starfinder. Have a great night.